Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good and good morning. Hopefully you guys are having a pretty good start to the day. I wanted to cover this video because uh, my workday is about to get absolutely ridiculous. So uh, before I actually run, you know, not have time to do any of this stuff, I wanted to go ahead and cover it. So basically this is related to the uh, Golden Week uh, speculation and leaks. Uh, I do realize that the LR Vegeta Nappa banner or legendary banner is currently out. It you know came out several hours ago, but uh, for me personally, I think the original plan was to save for Golden Week anyway. You know, last year, uh, we'll talk about it uh, later on, but you know, we had the transforming trunks and transforming Zabasa unit, and uh, they ended up becoming or being pretty phenomenal units, especially for a Dokkan Fest. So, uh, Golden Week, I assume, a similar type of approach uh, where they're actually going to be pretty good units. Uh, the legendary banner, as good as, as LR Vegeta and Nappa are, I think it's more or less uh, a, an appropriate banner to technically pass on. Uh, even the featured units list, yes, you have the Tech Raditz on there, but outside of that, uh, a lot of the units like, um, you know, the Goku units and Vegeta units, uh, they're really not that, uh, you can basically live without them. So my thought process is, and this isn't necessarily a recommendation to you guys, but I will probably personally just keep saving for the uh, Golden Week coming up and the end of April, uh, first week of May. That's usually when the schedule is. So <clears throat> with that being said, let's talk about the uh, the upcoming uh, units that are leaked out. So start off the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit. Uh, the leak suggests, uh, I think it was originally from uh, Ryokutaku, I think is a website, but uh, the guy was basically saying this Gotenks will be a transforming unit as well as the Boo unit. So it'll be one of those dual Dokkan Fest type banners. You'll have two different banners, one Super and one Extreme, you know, that type of setup. Uh, I think it was the case for Trunks and Zamasu last year. So again, the uh, Gotenks unit is uh, definitely going to be one of the units in terms of like the information leaked. Uh, Golden Week, again, is a pretty uh, hyped up period in time. I think you know it's 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 safe to say you'll see some uh, very good units released as part of the banner uh, during that celebration. Uh, again, uh, this you know this <clears throat> website is basically uh, so this is a uh, very useful site that uh, compiles information. So I'm I'm this is what I'm going through. But uh, you know again we talked about the uh, trunks and Zamasu unit last year. Um, this year basically they're speculating Gotenks and uh, Majin Buu. So. Let's talk about the details behind what we know so far with Gotenks. So, it is going to start off as a base Gotenks unit. Uh, the first transformation will be Super Saiyan Gotenks, and then the second transformation will be a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks unit. Um, this guy is basically talking about the appropriate, uh, you know, transformation criteria or parameters, I guess, behind the card. Uh, so, I think this guy is actually comparing it similar to how um, the uh, transforming trunks unit is basically two stages of transformations uh, during the battle and then basically you can raise the SA uh, because the uh, the starting point is a Gotenks so there's a, a couple of options to uh, farm the uh, SA for that now similar to the transforming trunks uh, it's also suggested that the um, uh, passive skill, active skill, you know, is, is going to be like the uh, transformation uh, requirement. So uh, if you're unfamiliar, I mean, and, and most of you probably are, trunks, the transformation, tr transforming trunks will transform from base to Super Saiyan 1 based on, uh, you know, the uh, uh, like amount of amount of turns, basically. And then with the passive or active skill uh, will transform into the uh, the the final state basically so uh this this uh website is is suggesting that's a similar approach where again you'll start off with the base gotenks unit and then you will transform automatically based on amount of turns or maybe certain criteria into super saiyan 1 and then for super saiyan 3 potentially a active skill uh will will basically allow for the uh, transformation uh basically you know at this point not really is known about um 
you know, the uh, transformation requirements or the active skill requirements. Obviously, this is a lot of speculation at this point, but you know, it's definitely going to be uh, a, a decent uh, card because you know the base Gotenks unit. There's actually not that many uh, currently in the game outside of you know the ones that you would farm SA4. So. You know, for the other powerful uh, Gotenks units or, you know, variations of it, you don't really have to run into an issue of forcing this new card in versus others that were previously already good. Um, you know, chances are you're going, to, you're going to be able to run the other variations of Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on the team, and, and that's actually pretty pretty cool stuff. Now, in terms of leader skill, I don't, I, don't, I have, you know, I honestly have no idea. Um, one of these guys will for sure get an upgraded uh, leader skill for hybrid, uh, not hybrid, uh, Majin Buu Saga. Uh, again, right now at this state, only uh, one leader exists for the Majin Buu Saga. That's the uh, physical Super Vegito, right? And that's only at 120% boost. So I think it's about time where you get the variations of 150 and 170%. That's got to. It's been long overdue for that to happen. And then who knows what the uh, secondary leaders leader scope. I have no idea. I'm not going to speculate outside of that. But uh, we'll move on and talk about the uh, transforming boo unit. So these are the following stages where this will take place. So you've got the, uh, I guess you can call it good boo or Mr. Boo and whatever, you know. Well, Mr. Boo's after the fact. So I guess you can call it uh, good boo and then evil boo. And then the uh, uh, pure evil boo is pretty much uh, the format. So like... You basically have like uh, the way it's listed here is again similar to the upcoming Gotenks unit. It's basically two sets of transformations. Uh, first, starting off with the uh, good and pure evil Boo, and then the uh, second or first state will be the um, first transform state will be the uh, uh, pure evil Boo, and then the second transform state will be the evil Boo. So. That's kind of like how things look at this point. I would figure, um, you know, pure evil boo. Um, oh, okay, so that's because of the uh, the way the way the system works is like I, I kind of get the thought process now. All right, all right. With that being said, um, yeah, this is basically explaining how the transformations will probably work, like the animation and stuff. You know, the uh, turning Boo into the uh, candy eating and then transforming into, uh, you know, evil Boo or super Boo, whatever, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much um, the deal with that. And then, you know, it's also speculating the possibility of an exchange function instead of a simple transformation that could also take place, you know, and, and whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, these are pretty much uh, the takeaways from that. The only thing I hate about uh, Majin Buu units in the, in, in the game on Dokkan Battle is, is the link sets are pretty difficult to manage with other units on the team. So I'm, I'm hoping they do make some uh, pretty good improvements when it comes to that. I mean, it really does get to a point where you really have to adjust your team in order to make it work. And yes, chances are most of the time it's feasible, but it, I just hate the fact that you have to force it in sometimes. Now let's just talk about, we'll close out by talking about the dual Dokkan Fest that occurred last year. Again, it was the Transforming Trunks and Transforming Zamasu unit. Again, with this dual Dokkan Fest, uh, for every three multis, you got a free multi out of it. So uh, definitely expect a similar thing to happen with this coming Golden Week campaign or banner release. Uh, as well as uh, the possibility of the... Um, or high likelihood, I guess I should say, of the um, uh, transforming uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and, and uh, Tech Majin Vegeta uh, to come out or come back as well. Because one, it falls in line with the theme of, of the potential um, Dole Don't Confess banner. But uh, what this guy is saying is basically these, uh, the ones that were uh, year end units last year did return around this time as well. So um, this, it's suggested it's a, it's a high likelihood that. The uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta that came out in year end on uh, JP will most likely be returning as a, a featured unit. So if you guys missed out on, you know, those two units, um, yeah, I mean, it might be a good opportunity to pick up a copy. I got absolutely demolished on those banners year end, so um, I actually don't have either one. So, maybe, you know, it might actually be a good thing for me. All right, so... Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the whole takeaway with that. The biggest thing I think is the fact that right now we have the uh, legendary banner out 
And uh, again, my personal opinion is uh, to skip and just wait for or save stones for Golden Week because it is a dual Dokkan Fest. You're going to have literally two separate banners to where uh, you're going to have to manage stones. So, you know, my goal is to just save and, and uh, be able to summon an equal amount of good stuff uh, and then go from there. Like for me, the the value in saving is higher than and than summoning on the legendary banner. So that's probably... You know how I would look at it. Hopefully, uh, you know this is an opinion. This isn't a recommendation. So I'm just simply stating what I think. So and what my plans are. So you know, hopefully this video did serve you well in terms of uh, you know learning a little bit about some of the upcoming schedule, uh, what potential Golden Week stuff we're getting, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully, again, you guys enjoy the video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.